Driver accused and charged with hitting a highway construction worker, leaving him for dead, as he had just mentioned on I-90, sitting behind bars tonight. Good evening. Thanks so much for joining us. I'm Tiffany Tucker. And I'm Brian Duffy. All new at 6, our CNN New Yorker with brand new video, 19 News, has obtained from police as officers tracked him down and what they found inside the hit and run SUV. Rolando Rodriguez appearing via video in a Rocky River courtroom. Westlake police say he is the driver who mowed down a construction worker on I-90 early Tuesday morning. The impact so violent, pieces of the car left on the highway. It took officers from several departments to find the 50-year-old. This is body cam from Avon Lake Police who pulled him over more than 12 hours later. Yeah, you're definitely not free to go, okay? Okay. You've been you've been cooperative with us. You're cooperative with these officers. You know you're not in handcuffs right now. Yeah. All right. Well, I just don't know because I don't go around getting yep. in trouble very often. Yep. At all. So I just want to know what's going on. Yep. 19 News taking you inside the evidence. These are photos of what police say they found in Rodriguez's car at the time he was detained: beer cans and open alcoholic beverages. Today in court, Captain Jerry Vogel said that because they didn't catch the 50-year-old until hours after the hit skip, they couldn't test him to see if he was drunk at the time of the crash. However, Rodriguez is facing several felony charges. The judge revoked Rodriguez's driving privileges and ordered him held on a $200,000 bond. He also has to wear an ankle bracelet that will show if he consumes any drugs or alcohol. As for the victim, he's still in the hospital with serious injuries. All new at 6, 19 News found Good Samaritan started this GoFundMe to raise money for his medical bills. Fortunately, it doesn't sound like there's any life-threatening injuries, but there was a head injury and a very serious uh, leg injury that required surgery, compound fracture. The person has been in and out of consciousness, so we have not been able to even administer their uh, victim rights forms to them yet. So um, it, was, it was a serious, serious injury that he should have known happened when it happened. Rodriguez's case has been bound over to Cuyahoga County. We'll keep you updated on when his next court appearance is. Reporting in Rocky River, CNN Yorker, 19 News.